guys. We're going to now read a book about adjectives. I love this collection. Ruth Heller wrote a book about each part of speech. All the parts of speech are represented. Mm. Okay, here we go. An adjective's terrific when you want to be specific. It easily identifies by number, color, or size. 12 large, blue, beautiful butterflies. It describes all things with style and grace. And also it describes a place, mysterious, star-spangled, asteroidal, outer space. For any special member of our precious human race, a weary, wounded, bearded, and bandaged tennis ace. <laughs> she comes up with some silly things. An adjective describes a thought, idea, or emotion. Peaceful coexistence, a universal notion. An adjective's terrific even when it's not specific. Some jelly beans, a few gumdrops, and many luscious lollipops. Those are all adjectives. Some, a few, many. You don't think of those as adjectives, do you? But they are. It never fails to add details to what you write or say. A mesmerizing, colorful, and glittering display. Use as many as you wish before, but after you need two or more. <clears throat> a wet and soggy, drizzly day, rainy, wintry, and gray. And it is perfectly okay if you arrange your words this way. Roses are red, violets are blue. They're predicate adjectives, if you do. And if you ask a question too, was this puzzle hard to do? Hard is an adjective. The puzzle was hard. It, it tells you what it was. Was it easy or was it hard? Demonstratives will help you choose. This way you win, that way you lose. I like these socks, but not those shoes. Possessives always tell you whose. Our circus acts are front page news. The clown's red nose, the elephant's pose. They're bareback riders, twinkling toes. Her horse, of course, its prancing gait, and the daring young man with his trapeze meat. Three adjectives used frequently are articles, a and an and the, as anyone can plainly see. There's a fern in an urn, on the balcony. Treat proper adjectives the same as any other proper name. A Persian rug, an Irish setter. They always begin with a capital letter. Proper adjectives, just like proper nouns, get capitalized. If you wish to create an adjective, add Ibel or able or us or I've or any other suffix scene describing this famous remarkable queen with her doll like face and golden crown and jeweled irresistible Renaissance gown. It's a beautiful regal expensive dress for this popular monarch called Good Queen Bess. She has love Lee. Satin E, flawless pearls, and gleam in gems in her red ish curls. 
So those all make words into adjectives. Some adjectives compare. Curly, curlier, curliest hair. Fairest, fairer, fair. For comparatives, just add an ER. For superlatives, add an EST. Except for the few irregular ones like good and better and best. Good, better, best. Use comparatives to compare just two and superlatives for more. The taller animal of these two is the tallest one of the four. So the taller animal of these two, so there were two, so you use taller, is the tallest of these four. At times you must use more and most, and at times use less and least. Astonishing beast, more astonishing beast, the most astonishing beast. Mm -hmm. Fattening feast, less fattening feast. And the last is the least, the least fattening feast. Well, let's take a look at this fattening feast. That looks delicious. <laughs> This is less fattening, less fattening, and the least fattening. Is it most or more or least or less? How do you relieve this alarming distress? It isn't amusing. It's very confusing. Which one of these words should you really be using? Or should you just add an ER or an EST? No one has yet found an infallible test. But ER and EST are usually best with words that have one syllable. And also two if they end in Y, after you change the Y to I. Three syllable words and words with more use less and least and most and more. Here are some that work both ways. Either is correct. Able, angry, clever, friendly, gen gentle, handsome, narrow, obscure, Polite, quiet, secure, simple, stupid. <laughs> Here are the irregular ones I told you to expect. Bad, worse, worst. Ill, worse, worst. Little, less, least. Many, more, most. Some, more, most. Much, more, most. Well, better, best. Far, farther, farthest. Whenever you find yourself in doubt, be cautious and be wary. It's often very helpful to consult your dictionary. Here's a funny picture of a clown. <laughs> okay. I like this book. I hope you liked it too.